a life of a farmer living on an island all right so i am here with another episode on this episode we are going to be discussing how to feed your avocado trees okay not just only avocados but really today we're focusing more on avocados watch the video through to the end so you are going to understand why i said not only avocados but we're doing it the old school way okay because there's a lot of fertilizers a lot of stuffs out there that you can buy in packets and use it to feed your tree but we're doing it the ancient way the old school way the way that has lasted for thousands and thousands of years okay you know less chemicals in those days so that's what we are sticking to so today we are going to be using horse manure on the farm okay so on these boxes you see us lifting right here we have it ready for the plants now if you caught up with our previous video you know that we just harvested uh, not too long ago so we are preparing and getting it ready okay so when the rain comes the soil is going to you know swallow all of the necessary nutrients that the avocado needs and they are going to flourish and we are going to be harvesting bountiful in the next season now welcome 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 back Melfia's fitness and health and um, if you are enjoying our content please do not forget to subscribe as you watch along so on this day we woke up when gathered our at a horse manuam, horse poo, horse shite, <laughs> call it whatever you want. But yes, it is good for the plants. And that's like the whole old school way of doing it. So you can see me here with the boxes, you know, putting them in different areas in the farm so we can start spreading them, spreading them. So while I'm bringing the boxes and putting them in different areas, uh, some of us are there spreading the manure on the threes. So today our focus is the avocados. If you can see the one close to me here, you can see have a lot of yellow leaves and not looking so healthy. Some of them that you will see throughout the video, some are looking very healthy. Like where I'm standing right now, you can see how healthy those ones look and you can see that they are growing very well. So that's what we're going to be doing today and it's not going to be a very long video. But after we finish feeding all the avocado trees, we're going to put on the roots or so, you know, around them. And then we, the few we had left over, we decided to also feed the mangoes because we have mango trees in the farm. Some produced this season, like this year, um, you know, they produced in summertime. And um, now we're preparing for winter. So, okay, the fruits, it's not the time for mangoes. But yeah, we want to give them some food. So next season, next year, summer, we will be harvesting a lot and lots of mangoes. Now, our first and second harvest was just for personal consumption, which the first year we got few. And then this year we got more mangoes. I'm talking about the mangoes. So we are yet to do an official like a supply uh, harvesting of mangoes. But this year we did the first harvesting of avocado for a supply. So hopefully, finger crossed, like I said, the farm is pretty new, young. So hopefully, finger crossed, next season, next year, we will be able to harvest enough mangoes that we will supply. Because mangoes, hmm, if you know, you know. If you're in Europe, whenever you go to the supermarket, one of the fruits that does not last are mangoes. Okay, those tropical fruits, and immediately they are bringing them. Hmm, the first set of people that are going to, into the supermarket are buying everything. So if you're having mangoes for sure, even if you're taking it to the local market, immediately you set your table. Like here they have in the island, they have days where different areas in, uh, in its city can host the street market. Okay, it's not everyday thing. So if you're someone that is going to sell in the street market, you're able to go then if you're selling like tropical fruits and things like that, you are going to sell out very fast also. So right now, I'm just taking you on a walk, showing you what we have done. This really didn't take us much time. Uh, you can see the dogs are happy, enjoying themselves over there. So you can see that's a mango tree I just showed you. We still had a few boxes to go. And right now, I'm collecting the boxes. Like I said, I was the one bringing it to the different parts of the farm. And uh, the others on the farm were kind of distributing it on the trees. So now I'm also collecting the box and putting them together so we can take it back. 
uh, and um, that's just basically what we are doing this is just a short video I just wanted to also show this process since I showed the process of harvesting here you can see some mangoes that we've already covered because of the winter season you really have to protect the little plants because the wind in the island is something else now we have passion fruits also yes we also fed the passion fruit the trees making sure that yes next summer we will be collecting enough passion now as for the passion we've been able to supply to people that needed it you know like restaurants they would like to serve and you know so we're able to supply those so not like supplying to supermarket or like restaurants that wanted it you know so that's that for the passion fruit so we also dropped some horse manure on the passion fruits and that's just what we're doing right now and the mangoes are already the ones that we planted recently we've covered them protecting them from the wind and uh, the cold and everything making sure that by summertime as we unveil them they would have grown a little bit but although in winter time all the trees are like in hibernation mode if i would say they don't grow as much as they do in other seasons you will just notice that they are just growing slightly slowly everything is you know the growth process is slowing down in winter season but it is it is normal it is expected when you're in cold areas you know the winter luckily this area we don't have like snow snow like snow dropping here you know you want to see the snow and all of that you have to go up on the mountains so that's why we're able to plant some of these things and grow them throughout the year and we are able to survive if we were in countries or areas that were extremely extremely cold that the the, the ground is covered with snow a lot of these plants won't survive because most of these plants are not for a cold climate okay so yeah so that's the beautiful thing about the island of Crete because the weather in my opinion is fantastic uh, except the strong wind uh, not too much the cold is not too much compared to other parts of Greece where you'll be having so much snow like you have ski resorts and things like that and you know if you're gonna be having ski resorts it's gonna be a lot of snow involved all of that you can find in Greece but the beautiful thing about the country is if you're on the other end of Greece you wouldn't even know that the person that is on this other side is in the same country with you because somebody is enjoying the sun warmer weather you know and you you're in the complete cold white and everything you know so that's the beauty of this island yeah I was just showing you people the mangoes you know you can see when the mango tree is bringing out new leaves this is always this pinkish reddish I don't know what I'm gonna call it <laughs> pinkish reddish color so I believe next year we will be harvesting mangoes for more trees okay like than what we had in summer so there are a few trees okay that i believe will be bringing out fruit next season finger crossed okay so that being said if you're watching this video and you are also a farmer let me know in the comment section what do you use in your farm what do you use in your garden even if you have just like a backyard behind your house a backyard garden uh let me know or just a small corner where you just plant a few fruits and vegetables or even if it's just vegetable just let me know what do you use for your garden and what do you prefer okay do you like doing it the old school way or the new school way or you're just in an area where <clears throat> the horse poo the horse manual okay? <laughs> people won't be able to deal with that stuff, so you just prefer to go with the modern day fertilizers and all of that let's keep talking like i say health is wealth if you're able to grow your own food do so okay it's going to take a little bit of work but it is sure going to pay off over time when you start harvesting and you know that you don't have to go to the supermarket for every single thing you will appreciate it more thank you for watching and see you on the next one